to sa lineup na ginagawa nila na to. On the side naman ng Blacklist International, I think they're set kasi this is the certain setup na lagi natin nakikita sa kanila. It's Aqua on Dati Silyon. We're going to see probably a Popol and Kupa offlane from Dexstar. Or it could be si Silyon to the offlane as well. So, tingnan natin kung paano nila yung setup. Pero ang weird, no? Para na tayo na psycho so din tayo sa na, na, na psycho din tayo sa line na ano din ako eh. <laughs> sa totoo lang eh this Pero is going fine, to be fine. one fine. for the books here game 3 mga kaibigan NXP solid laban sa Blacklist International mm -hmm. we had some pretty long games my friend ito na ba yon ito na I ba I mean ito na talaga yon <laughs> ito na ba ang talagang pangmatagalan game kasi madami din silang wave player dito sa totoo lang <laughs> <laughs> talagang feeling ko pang Woo! long games talaga yung dalawang team wala Renny J talaga yung gagamit ng show eh. oh, kumbaga, Renny J show got kumbaga, this let's say it could be an orthodox as an orthodox dito for the side of uh, NXP solid pero kasi they're not really known to alam mo yun parang join mm -hmm. yung circle ng mga taong gumagamit ng tank show Kasi meron mga silang kill trick na pinipick eh. So, uh -oh. NXP Solid, they're sticking with their comfort picks. And you know what? That is really good for their side. Kasi sa totoo lang, as long as you're comfortable, okay and you're na playing din. at the full potential, that's better mas sometimes. Mas okay na rin yun. Uh -oh. But still, Blacklist International dito, I think they're really set on to just getting this early game. I mean, the carry right now, yes, it's not picked as much. Pero kasi there's this certain trend kasi ngayon sa mga sa mga side ng uh, sa side ng Blacklist International na for the funnels you really have to go for those heroes na pabilog mm -hmm. yung damage output that's true hindi siya linear hindi siya single target so carry might take them down one by one and pagdating dun sa mga later parts of the game they can actually shred a lot of uh, he can actually she can actually shred a lot of the damage output na nanggagaling dito kay uh, nanggagaling dito sa side ng uh, Blacklist International but then again how in how and in what way is that going to be possible for the yeah. Dynamics Solid? That's true. Yun yung sasagutin nila dito. Blacklist International, to be honest, it really just boils down onto playing that certain simple setup na ginagawa nila kanina. Just get the pickoffs, let full clip shine, and dun sila mananalo. Will that happen here most likely? Kasi it's a, it's a, it's, you know what? It's a link. We've seen full clip na kahit eggles, Nagmamagaan niya yung Ling. Like, I think that happened kanina din where hindi naman dapat siya sobrang lumamang mm -hmm. against the, the, with the with the 1v1 matchup, especially against a Lancelot. Especially yung hawak pa, may hawak pa ng Lancelot na yun is si H2O. Mm -hmm. Diba? So, pero he was able to make it work and especially against a carry, it will be easier for full clip. So, totoo lang, sa laban na to, kasi there's a reason kung bakit hindi din masyadong pick ang mga marksman actually nag... Mm -hmm. Na narinig ko, pumapalak pa kayo mga marksman nun na so, na eh. Ito ah, may fun fact tayo dito ngayon, Rockheart. 96 skills na si H2O sa buong MPL, mm -hmm. Season 6. Kailangan niya na lang ng apat na kill para makasama siya sa 100 kill club. Sino yung mga nasa 100 kill club? Si Drix tsaka si Carl. Mm -hmm. Si Drix ng BSB, si Carl ng Bren, tapos ang susunod doon si H2O. Si Full Clip naman needs 12 kills to reach the 100 club, the 100 kills club. So, a lot of things are really happening. And we're only halfway mm. through the league. Kaya kaya mag, sino kaya mauna makatuhan? Kaya hindi gusto ko alam. Si yun yung mga <laughs> Malupit, malupit. So, sa ngayon, uh, again, chill lang tayo muna mga kaibigan as we are in a bit of a technical pause. Pero, we will be coming back soon pag tayo ay ready na and nagiinit na nagiinit na ang ating mga teams for mm. sure and uh, we're trying to make them play in the best condition possible that's ba? true especially in, in oh. terms of ano diba yung network oh. uh, latency dapat lowest ping lagi mga ganun diba? mm -hmm. and uh, nag well use this time to strategize mm -hmm. yung post na yan tingnan mo eh, mag-usap lang talaga sila parang sila sabi lang nila MB Ganito, ganyan ito, gagawin ito, mo, pre, mo, pasa mo yung bola agad oh, kay Renny J. Renny J, pasa mo yung bola kay H2O. <laughs> H2O, never hesitate. Never, never hesitate. Hesi never ever hesitate on the jump shot. Yes. Ayun, nag-usap-usap na sila dito. And uh, look at Chester dito. Kahit sobrang baba ng buhay nila, they will still go for that steal on that bear. Alright. And they actually are going to have... Uh, 
I'm surprised na wala masyadong invade na gaganap ngayon. Simula kanina, pansin mo. Mm -hmm. Talagang both of these teams have such high respect for the security, the security guard. Ayaw nilang lumagpa security guard masyado. I'm, I'm surprised by the... Hindi naman sobrang wala ah. Sinabi ko lang there's like less amounts of invades that are happening recently in this matchup. And goes to show yung amount of, you know, yung pagkakabasa nila sa kalaban nila is both of these teams are starting to work mm. towards mid to late game na lang. Yeah. Wala nang masyadong greedy for the early game. Alam mo yun, kumbaga, ano kasi, yung setup din kasi na NXP solid dito, they can't really go in for game number three dun sa may area na yun for the blue buff. So right now, nahuli nila si Eson and this might be the first blood of the game. Tignan natin, MB is actually there. Flicker and catches Eson, Aqua as well. Pero tignan natin dito kung papaano aalis si MB. The ultimate coming up from Aqua talagang pinofocus yun na pinofocus is MB. Oy! One more hit. That could be it. Full clip dito with the execute cleanup crew. Pumasok na lang siya. Nabunggo siya ni Yawi dito. Tempest of Blades. It's there. At mapupoke niya pa ng isang best chester. That's going to be your trade para dito. Akala ko takas na yun eh. Actually, it looked like it was going to be uh, an escape and full clip was going to be necessary to clean that up. Sabi kasi kanina MB siguro, ganito mag first blood tapos mm. ang problema na counterplay lang. Pero again, it looks really good so far for both of these teams. I would say na yung turtle is going to be the next uh, I think all in to dapat for Blacklist. They need this turtle either on Oh, oh my god. And they have the they, they, need they have so the priority. Much. Uh -oh. They have the priority because they have the priority. They have the episode, better early wala. game as well. Oh, they have the better early game as well. H2O. Unlike those sa mga former games, the eh, uh, previous games that they have in the series. Ito. But let's talk about that later. As Yawi is just tanking up everything. Let's see who's going to get this. Will the will the retribution count? Yes, it will. Ultimate dito. Flowing blood. Where is it going to go? He did not it. And that is going to be a win for the side of Blacklist International. Ayo talaga. Ayo talaga. And to be honest, that's you hit it on the dot there. Yung power ng blacklist on the early game is going to be on full clips retry, which is hindi naman basa basa. Alam mo yung pag naka purify si carry, it's not something you can use right away in battle, mm. especially when taking those big objectives. So, ang plan nila dito for NXT Solid to get objectives, they need to zone out. They need to win a team fight muna, para mas konti yung magiging aagaw. Napaka-importante ng pick-off. Napaka-importante pick ng pick-off para sa NXT. Side of NXT solid. Pero, ngayon kasi, kung titignan nyo yung lineup nila, this is, since wala sila ng retribution, they have no priority whatsoever doon sa may mga turtle, doon sa Lord as of now. Maybe later if they win fights, pero kasi retribution isn't really everything. Kumbaga, it just sets you up para doon sa mga certain fights, sa mga yari pa sa mga susunod na sabihin natin sa mga susunod na oras ng game na to mm -hmm. right now 5 minutes into the game pa lang tayo we only had our first turtle take dito for the side of Blacklist International NXP Solid they're really taking their time kumbaga kanina aggressive talaga sila to take the fights dahil nakalance ngayon naman since nakakari sila pacing lang hindi pwedeng masyadong action hindi pwede hindi pwede they need to slow down as much as possible pero looks like Blacklist naman gusto namang dumere derecho sa labanan with full clip getting another kill there, purple, I sorry, orange and turtle buff mm -hmm. on this la, uh, on this link is just is just so good. Oh, pero doon sa may baba na ikita mo naman dito nakaalis na si Edward agad agad, and that is going to be the certain advantages of winning or having a better hero para doon sa isang side lane mo. Kung bakit nakakaroon siya ng priority din doon para i take down yung turret and right now. NXP Solid, may access na yung Blackhouse International dito doon sa may purple buff area nila. That's right. And the buff's gonna be important, but ito ang mas importante. Itong turtle buff na to, pasok Chester into the Raging Sandstorm, not gonna be hang anyone. Ang away ngayon is on! The turtle secured once more by full clip, at ito na ang big team fight. Masakit sa likod si Aqua! And si Eso naman, hindi na kayang isin ang bawas din ng NXP dito. Lalaban at for forward si Yawi. Disengage muna. For the meantime, it's a one for one. Turtle on the side of Blacklist. Okay, good yung ginawa ng Blacklist International doon. Alam nila may priority sila, kaya pinilit nila yung pag-take ng Turtle na yon. Ang ginawang tama doon ng side ng NXP Solid is they take down full clip agad. Mm -hmm. So, ibig sabihin yung Turtle buff, naglaho lang. 
Tama, tama. So, And, hindi rin na-utilize yun, totally. So, deny, kumbaga. Deny. It Oo. was denied. Nakuha yung gold, pero denied pa rin. Exactly. And top lane naman, makuha ng NXC Solid, ang Tore. Pero lang laban, titignan natin kung sila pa rin ang makakuha. Pasok naman si Chester. Mm. E Chester dito, siya ang naipit sa may gitna. Yawi dito, will he get caught out? Naka... Naklap yung gulong. Naklap yung gulong. Naklap yung gulong. <laughs> hindi, hindi, matibay na gulong yan. Matibay, matibay. Matibay na gulong yan. Hindi mapaplat ng basta-basta yan. Oo. And I think that's fine. Uh, mm. Getting a tower is good, just disengage. That's what NXP needs to do. Again, mm. habang tumatagal to nang wala sila masyadong na, na, na suffered na losses, hanggat di sila nawawala ng tore, okay si H2. Okay. Tatagal ng tatagal at lalakas at lalakas tong kari na to. The kailangan lang, yung ibang miyembro din nila is kaya makipagsabayan mamaya. Mm. ba? Diba? Kailangan hindi pa papers. Yun yung ginagawa dito ng NXP Solid. Kung baga, sige, nananala sila ng fights, nakakuha sila ng pick-offs. Pero, hindi nila nakukuha yung turrets natin dito sa may mid at sa may top, basta-basta. So, there is time for NXP Solid to react. Katulad nga nung game number 2, sinabi natin na if nag-scale dito si Alice, magiging malaking problema yon sa side ng NXP Solid nung game number 2. Tama, two. tama. Ganito din naman yung sitwasyon ngayon. If mag-scale tong Alice at nakuha niya yung souls na kailangan niya to get to, fif uh, to, get to 50 stacks, Nako, yun yun. that is going to be the start ng pagkakaroon ng problema sa isang Alice dito. Neso, hindi na habol ng gulong na may tinik. Mga katakas ngayon, hindi. Full tip going on the chase though for carry. Temps of Blades going out. And nahila silang lahat ni Kuya Aqua. Dexter are very, very low as well. Pero si Tams, Pero si Tams, si Tams sa baba. Ako po, hindi napapansin si Kuya Tams. Edward getting a lot of gold as well. Pero, maganda naman sa NXP. Ito yung sabi natin na condition para magkaroon sila objective mm. after a team fight plus wala sa posisyon ang kalaban, mm. nakuha nila ngayon ang turtle. Okay. So, hindi yon totally uh, totally on the side of Blacklist International lang kasi mm. nakakuha sila That's ng right. turret sa may baba. Na-convert naman ng NXP Solid yon into that turtle. So, sabihin na lang natin in terms of map control, I still favor the side of Blacklist International just because there is much room to move on. For oh, NXP yeah. Solid naman dito, they can survive the next few fights na babato sa kanila dito ng Blacklist International. At least with H2O, with that turtle buff. At, di ba? Buhay pa yan. Mabubuhay siya. Oh, oh. At uh, mabibigyan siya ng extra protection na kailangan niya. Yup. Ang problema lang is Chester did go down here on the mid lane. So, baka maging problema yun for later. Uh, pero wala namang immediate threat mula sa Black Blacklist sa ngayon. So, okay, itayin lang natin. <laughs> okay, ganun. Yeah. Uh, pintay lang natin kung may magagawa ba yung death ni Chester na yun. Oo, pero Kasi Blacklist right now, they're just taking it slow as so well. So, may ba? Ang din ng away dito. It is going to be the carry. Rene J dito. H2O is the target. And H2O, Rene J combination. Pinapakita na nila yung pangil nila dito. Yan, nagsosolo pa si Full Clip. That is not ideal actually, considering Edward was down already. Hmm, actually, hindi naman, ano eh, hindi naman nagsolo si Full Clip. Nandun si... Edward. Pero kasi at least nakahanap ng paraan dito para sagutan ni H2 yung Thumbs. Hindi siya, ano, kumbaga hindi siya yung tipong threat na threat talaga. May way para ma-shred, no? That's right. And shred, speaking of shred, ito na yung bawa sa gitna ng labanan na gagawa ng Alice ni MB. Totoong-totoo na. And Aqua, hirap na hirap ding mag-survive dun. Sa labanan na yun, Yawi zoning everybody once more. Si Chester pang follow-up sana. Pero hindi na daw muna kailangan for now. It's gonna be the back for Blacklist at ang push naman para sa NXP. To me team fight na dito yung NXP solid. Kun uh, ano na sila? They are uh, how do I say this? Confident in a way na kaya nila panalon nito. Tingnan mo kung paano nila binibigyan ng malaking problema dito yung side ng Blacklist International. H2O dito hindi nila maabot totally to take him down. Yes, damage is there. Pero kasi kinakapos. And H2O has finally joined the 100 Kills Club in the MPLPH Season 6. Yes, that's kailan using kay, Akari pa. Kailan tayo makasasali dyan? Eh, pag sa MPL nga, hindi tayo kasali sa eSports. Pag nakapaglaro na, oo. Oh, someday. Uh, wait for it. Wait for it, my friends. Kuya <laughs> <laughs> H2O, gal galit. Going for the chase on to Eson. Her game dance, makakalagtas kaya? I don't think so. And he will go down to the power of H2. Oh, dadagdag pa! Nagkaroon pa ng shield? That is the passive ng the... isang Akai, by the way. Kapag ka siya ay gumamit ng skill, nagkakaroon siya ng armor. Kala ko, makakatakas na din eh. I, so, thought, pala. I thought so too. Pero masyado talaga mabilis ang chasing capability dito. 
H2O making the carry work. We Ito haven't seen this hero for a long time. And right now, namamayag pag dito sa series na to. Game number three. Yep, it's going to be that carry. Mm. Nagbubunyi ang mga marksman natin. Finally, may representative na daw sila aside from Lee Sanshin. Kasi sawang-sawang daw sila kay Sanshin eh. So, ito naman. Si Kari naman ang papakitang gilas ngayon. And looking like they are ready for a possible win. And tingin ko, I think, I think they are they're in a, on a good way. They're mm. on a good way to getting this. As long as they can protect this Lord, madami silang bawas, madami silang damage na magagawa sa Blacklist International Base. Yung ano din kasi, yung dating din talaga kasi ng NXP Solid dito, hindi sila mabuli ni Edward eh. Kasi kanina, di ba, Edward had free reign to go over them. Ngayon kasi, nakuha niya yung thumbs, kinahaki nila. Ibig sabihin, para nagkaroon ng sagutan ng problema, Chester dito with the ultimate, nakapag-clicker siya palabas, lumuhod doon, no one goes down. The one view on sa baba na gaganap, Thumbs versus Cho. Rene J very, very low. Puwang hindi na muna niya ipipilit. And that is going to be the successful defense para sa Blacklist. Ay, na, masaya sila doon na nakuha nila yung ganung pacing. NXP Solid dito, nag-push lahat ng waves papunta dito sa side ng Blacklist International. Mm -hmm. And that is a win in itself. Kung may na-takedown, siguro yung turret, mas nanalo pa sana sila. But still, the fact remains na NXP Solid dito, they are just moving as if sa kanila yung buong mapa na to. Mm -hmm. Totoo yan. And that's just how you do it. That's just how you do. And moving around the map like this is indication na talagang malaki-laki na din yung lamang. Hindi lang, hindi lang sa control sa mapa, kundi pati na din sa gold. Although, it's only 4,000 gold actually. Uh, 4,000 gold at 13 minutes. Mukha siyang hindi malaki. Pero since yung gold na yan is mga nasa hero na tulad ni Kari, ni, ka, sa H2, ni, kay H2O, mm. it, is, it actually does make NXP more threatening. Mas nakakatakot silang tingin. Mm -hmm. That is actually a good point, Rockheart. Still, Chester dito on the other hand. Nahuli na si Edward dito and he gets shredded off. Peel! Composition, Rose Gold Meteor going to H2O. Wow, tignan natin dito kung paano pipigilan ng Blacklist International yung pagtulak dito ng side ng NXP Solid. They lost one person. How will they hold? And look at this. MB going in with the ultimate. Tignan natin. Eson dito with Hurricane Dance. Yawi getting pushed back. He will go down. Whoa. And they stop the push. Grabe. Yung pasok ni MB dun actually was super commendable. Pero for some reason, they were they had to pull back. Someone ordered to pull back from there and he had to walk pa atras. While the rest of his team just suffered so many, uh, so many hits. So many turret hits as well. Let's go and look at the replay dito. Hashtag shave the day on the Gillette Instant Replay. Maganda yung pasok ni Yawi, kasama si MB, pumwersa na pa-forward, pero looks like, ang naging problema dun is they were trying to look for full tip who was in the Tempest of Blades at that time. And si Chester, napakababan din dun sa laban na yun. That's why they needed to back off. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was the Gillette Instant Replay, hashtag Shave the Day. Rockheart, pacing ng game natin ngayon. Kari is doing work. Yeah, he actually is doing work. H2O, 6014. Uh, kahit na medyo nag-fail yung ibang team fights nila, they're still making it work for H2O. He's not suffering any need. Pero tawag ba nating fight? Kasi what they go for is pick off muna tapos tsaka sila sumahabol eh. Well, fight kasi apat naman silang magkaharap. Oh, so, sabagay. hindi yung pick off na like mag-isa lang sa mapa. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, it's a fight. Mm -hmm. Overall, I would, I think siguro they were happy with one kill pero again, again they uh, maybe they underestimated the power of Blacklist under ah. the power. Okay, totoo. And kahit si Popol and Koopa dito, nagkakaroon din ng problema yung alaga niya eh. Masa, hindi, nasasaktan Kasi, eh. <laughs> ka, unless, kontrolin mo talaga yan na hindi siya maabot ng carry. Masasaktan, masasaktan. Talagang mag-unload si, ano eh, mag si H2O dyan eh. And this is percent HP damage. So kahit gano'ng kataas yung HP niya, hindi siya gano'n kasakit. Mm. Hindi siya gano'ng kakakunan. And uh, kailangan pa rin nila mag-ingat dito. They still have the retribution onto the other side. Full clip dito. He oh. is going in, trying to actually take on someone. MB dito will be the first one to go down. And look at this. Rene J going to the back lines. Aqua dito. Iba yung nasipa ni Rene J. Pero sabi niya, eh kakayanin pa rin naman yan. Pero he will actually go down. And that is a godlike for H2O. Nahuni nila dito si Edward tsaka si Eson. 
Aqua, Dexter, full clip. How do you fight this? Okay, that's gonna be it. That's the problem. Because mm. Buhay is H2O. And actually, full clip is alive, naman din naman, pero I don't know. It's going to be. Ha it's gonna have to be another defense game. Napaka defensive ng dalawang team na to sa totoo lang. Minsan feeling ko sumusobra na eh. On a Gillette instant replay, we will definitely see na ang laking bagay ni Eson keeping everyone alive in that matchup. At considering yung lagay din ngayon ni Edward, he is not as tanky as he thinks he is. That's why not sobra din yung dive niya going to H2O. That's why na-take down din siya sa laban na yun. Actually, shout out kay Evangel. Napaka lupit ng... Uh... Galawan niya. Kinig na kinig yung galawan yun sa may gilid. Pero alam mo, Dexter dito, ang sabi naman niya, Oh, two down? Parusahan natin yung dalawang support nila. Kiawi and Chester, they go down. Is this a time na dapat kumuha ng Blacklist International ng Lord? Dapat na yata kanina pa eh. Because they bought, they backed off. And now, pabalik na ulit si Kiawi sa mapa. That was a 3v5. For a solid, how many and seconds? Meron silang, meron silang ibang plano, Rockheart. They go in, 7-0-5 pa rin dito si Kari, H2O. Sinozone out sila ng isang aso. Tignan natin kung paano nila gagawin to. RNJ dito, nandun sa may backline. He is the primary target dito for everyone onto the side of Blacklist International. They're trying to take them down. Jit Kondo, knock up, is there. He's still alive. He will go down. MB dito, nahuli silang tatlong magkakatabi. Surprised! Winter Truncheon Aqua dito getting caught out. Full clip on the other hand. Nandoon sa may gitna. He's trying to push. He's trying to set the pace para dito sa may Lord. But his allies will go down. Yep. At kinokontrol din siya ni Chester na hindi siya basta-bastang makapag-clear ng wave ng, ng derecho. So he's always being forced to back off. Now this Lord, he walang kasamang pupush dun sa bot lane. And... Feeling ko, that is a very good thing para sa NXP. They basically just nullified the Lord Take by taking kills of their own after that team fight. So, mm. I'm very curious to see how uh, how fast NXP got that. And uh, reset na naman tayo dahil longest reset. games, longest games na Reset naman. na naman tayo. And yun yung, naging tem yun yung naging tempo natin. Ito yung naging tema natin for the two games na meron tayo. Road to Greatest Games. And kung mabilis tong game 3 na to, anti-climactic yun. Sa bagay, oo nga. Eh, no? oh. Napaka-weird naman nun. Parang may nadali. Kung, mm. kung 12 minutes, tapos na yan. Hindi! Sa amin na ginaong baltes, todo na natin to. And it is happening. Mm. We are on the 20-minute mark, almost. Oh, Oy, teka! Teka, grabe yun. naman yun! And Raging Sandstorm palayo, pero nasunog na siya ni Edward with the Molten Sights. Tower goes down in mid, and they are now collapsing onto the middle. Of the pit. Nahuli na si Full Clip dito. Rene J with the heads up play. Aqua, kinakalmot kalmot siya ni Iori dito sa may likod. Pero Eson, siya ang susunod na tutumba. Rene J talagang gustong gusto Just. niya dito makuha si Aqua. He will go down as well. Dexter dito, last target, final target for the side of Blacklist International. And they are going to march Wipe on. Out. Nagmamadali dito yung mga members ng NXP Solid. This is the long march. This is the long march. <laughs> Sige. Sa inyo ang Lord. Abi ng base. <laughs> Sa inyo ang... Oh my goodness. NXP. Oh my God. Sa haba-haba na nangyari, they return the favor. They win this series. Two is to one. NXP Solid. Pangalawang base sila nakita. They got